Dust, chemicals, and other particles in the air create hazards for workers, including the risk of lung damage, sickness, disease, or even death. But these hazards can be eliminated with the use of a properly fitting respirator like this one. My name is Amanda, and I work in the administration and video production departments. I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Gear Up With Greg's, where we're going to talk about 3M's respiratory protection. Respiratory protection isn't just fashionable. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not even fashionable. But this type of protective equipment is required when airborne hazards can't be eliminated or sufficiently reduced to a safe level. After all, a face mask doesn't just protect your lungs from exposure to harmful elements. It also protects your brain and your central nervous system. Depending on the type of face piece, filters, or cartridges that are used, your level of protection can vary. For example, this bright pink filter may not seem like much, but it provides respiratory protection against exposure to lead, asbestos, cadmium, and arsenic. With a half face piece like this one, the filter can block up to 10 times the permissible exposure limit, or PEL. With a full face piece, like this one, the filter can block up to 50 times the PEL. As long as the mask fits properly, a P100 filter can block 99.97% of particles that are 0.3 microns or larger. Now, a micron is short for micrometer, which means it's one millionth of a meter. So we're talking small, itty bitty, minuscule. For reference, the dot from a simple pencil point is roughly 615 microns. Most of the debris kicked up in the average work environment is between 100 and 300 microns. And this is the stuff that just falls to the floor. It's the stuff around 10 microns that we start to breathe in. It gets lodged in our nasal passages and at the top of our lungs. But our body's natural instinct expels it through coughing. <coughs> the smaller stuff, around 2.5 microns or less, is the most dangerous. It gets down into the bottom of our lungs and while some of it gets dissolved into the bloodstream and filtered out, it's the stuff that stays there that can lead to allergies, lung disease, and even cancer. So, to prevent inhaling these dangerous particles, we turn to respirators. There are several key factors that need to be considered when choosing the right type of respiratory protection for your application. These factors will help you choose the best respirator for your job site and for your lungs. First, you need to consider what contaminant or contaminants you're dealing with. Is it dust, mist, fume, gas, or vapor? Is there one contaminant or many? Sometimes the contaminant may have more than one form. For example, spray painting produces both paint mist and solvent vapor. While well, welding produces both metal fumes and gases. Knowing the type of contaminant will help you determine what filter and coverage you need. Once you've determined the contamination type and volume, you can narrow down your choice of face pieces. A full face respirator is ideal for working with chemicals, vapors, or environments where a higher level of protection, especially for your eyes, is required. And for longer use, the full face respirator is much more comfortable than the half mask. 
The 7800 series has extra large inhalation and exhalation valves, helping you breathe easy no matter what filtration type you have strapped to it. The six adjustable straps also mean that you get the best fit possible. However, if you're looking for something with a bit more flexibility, turn to the 7500 or 6500 QL series. These half-face respirators have a drop-down feature, which means they're designed to allow easy removal and reapplication of the respirator when you're moving in and out of contaminated areas. Now, if you're working in a hot environment and are trying to keep cool, you're going to want a respirator with the 3M Cool Flow technology. This Cool Flow valve is designed for easy exhalation and for cool, dry comfort. They're designed for downward exhalation, so the hot breath from your lungs moves away from your body as quickly as possible. The 6000 Half Face Respirator is the most economic option without all the bells and whistles of the other respirators. This mask is low maintenance, simple to handle, and extremely lightweight. So now that you know what kind of face piece you'll need, let's determine the best filter for the task at hand. Particulate respirators are the simplest, least expensive respirator type. However, they also offer less protection than others, since they only protect against particles such as dust. They do not protect against chemicals, gases, or vapors, and are intended only for low-level hazards. Chemical cartridges, when used in combination with an appropriate mask, are known as air purifying respirators because they filter or clean chemical gases out of the air as you breathe. These cartridges are color-coded to help you identify the best cartridge for the job. For instance, this black cartridge provides protection against certain organic vapors, while this white one provides protection against chlorine, hydrogen chloride, sulfur dioxide, chlorine dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide. But the cartridges only provide protection against gases, fumes, or vapors, not particles. So some of these may also work in conjunction with a particulate filter to keep you and your lungs safe. Sometimes you'll need an adapter to fit the filter on your cartridge. After each day's use, the respirator should be cleaned and inspected. Check the face piece and valves for cracks, tears, and dirt. Make sure the head straps are intact and have good elasticity. Examine all plastic parts for signs of cracking or fatigue. Remove the exhalation valve cover and examine the valve and valve seat for signs of dirt, distortion, cracking, or tearing. Inspect the lens of any full face respirator for any damage that may impair its performance or vision. If your valves or gaskets are damaged, don't worry. Here at Greg's, we've got you covered. For cleaning your respirator, the 3M respirator cleaning wipes can be used between each use. So long as the respirator is only used by one person. But this shouldn't be the only cleaning method in place. At the end of each day, you should remove the cartridges and filters, clean the faceplate in warm cleaning solution with the water under 50 degrees Celsius, and scrub with a soft brush until clean. You can add a neutral detergent if necessary, but be careful. Don't use cleaners containing lanolin or other oils, which could damage your respirator. Disinfect the face piece by soaking it in a solution of a suitable disinfectant or diluted household bleach, diluted to 30 milliliters, 
for every 7.5 liters of water. Rinse in fresh, warm water and air dry in a clean, non-contaminated area. Inspect the components prior to reassembly and store the clean respirator away from contaminated areas when it's not in use. Now, there are a lot more factors out there that may affect the type of respirator that's best suited for your application. To be 100% certain you're getting the right fit, speak with your employer who should be providing you with the right information for your safety. Or, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us and speak to one of our friendly staff. Or you can visit our website at gregdistributors.ca. And hey, if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button or subscribe for more great content. Again, I'm Amanda, and thank you for watching another episode of Gear Up with Gregs.